This is what you're used to seeing when you have a single product and you've got variations. You know where you've got attributes and you go and pick your options, then the price will change. This is actually really boring. And even when you start to mess around with some of the options over here, having that drop down facility is a little bit lackluster. I'm going to show you how to transform this into this. And I've gone and added in three versions. Let's start with the top one. We've got the attributes now with a color radio button and the description. If I go and click red, we get a black outline or I could go with blue and where we have the appointment type, which is another attribute again, rather than the drop down, I can now click book and I'll get the price. You go and hit add to cart and it will add it to the cart. What about this one down here? This time we don't have the colored circles. However, if I was to click any one of them, I'm going to get a red fill. So if your branding is a particular color, you could do that. And when I pick different options, the prices will change. And the last one below is exactly the same as what we've got above over here, but this time it's in line rather than the stacked look. So I could go with blue, I could go with book, and again, I'm gonna get those prices and you hit add to cart. So how did I make this look so much more interesting without using any extra third party plugins or premium software? with a code snippet. And here's the code snippet and there's a link in the video description. There is actually a little bit more you have to do, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Then when we go over to our single product template, we need to add in a HTML widget and there is the code for that. Again, the link for that is in the video description. So add your snippet, save and activate with the code snippets plugin, then go and add in a HTML widget and just drop this in. At this point, you don't need to change anything. Just drop in the codes as they are. Each of the three versions I'm showing you here are using the add to cart widget that you can easily get from the elemental sidebar. But inside of each of these, we have different CSS codes. So in this top one, if we go to advanced and I scroll down to custom CSS, there is the code. And if you want to start messing around with this code, because this will modify what you see over here in terms of the layout and the positioning, you can go and do that. And the links are in the video descriptions. I just want to point out though, that of all of them, the top one here requires a little bit of extra effort. This is where I'm specifying the hex colors for each of those labels. So over here, the label that has the attribute red, and you can see it over there, this is what the color is, FF0050. And down here where we have blue, we have 0000FF. When you highlight or when you check the red one, so red checked, now you still stay as FF0050, but now I want your border to become black. So now it shows that you are highlighted. And when you go to the blue one and you are checked, stay blue, but make the border be a four pixel black. And you can see what that does over there. The ones below here don't have that same color added in, so you can take your pick, but I've tried to cover off different scenarios. And I hope you find this useful so that rather than having the boring drop down, add to cart variation looking thing, you go for something that's a little bit more bespoke like this. And the codes that you need are in the video description. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.